So let's get back to what we're talking about. So first of all, this is the wardrobe kit from craftycity.com. Our, our Chana Joshi is right here live with us and she is going to be sharing the links and stuff for you for the store and the products. So um, make sure you all get a chance to visit her store at craftycity.com. She only has a very few kits of this particular one available. So make sure you all go ahead and grab that as quickly as you can. So I already went ahead and prepared some of the pieces because otherwise we'd be here for two hours. And of course, with all my uh, computer errors, you know, <laughs> that doesn't help. So anyway, let me kind of get on into um, what we have here. So this is the wardrobe kit. And each one of these comes with three of the smaller ones on this type of hanger. Okay. And then, um, this is the larger one now let me show this one has four okay so let me give you the measurements of the smaller one this is about four inches wide and not including the hanger it's about four almost five inches long so four and seven eighths okay so you get three of those and then the larger one same thing it's going to be four inches wide but this one's gonna be a little bit longer. This one is a little over five and a half, so about five and five eighths, okay? And I went ahead and pre-painted these, all right? And the paint I use is this uh, Pentart Decor uh, paint, and this one is Victorian pink. But I will say this, um, Prima now has, um, I think they actually own Pentart now, and so it's the same paint, so if you get your paint from Prima, you're all good, or you can use any kind of chalk paint. I don't suggest regular crafting paint because you'll have to keep painting and painting like three layers to get over this MDF, okay? Um, but chalk paint is a primer and a paint all in one. So how did I go ahead and cut all these pieces? Now Archana, she has a scan and cut. So basically she just put this on the scanner, scanned it, and then it went ahead and cut all the pieces for her. Um, I don't have a scan and cut and I only have a Cricut and I don't even know how to do that on a Cricut. I can tell you if, if it even does that, I don't know. But um, goodness, my computer is really having a, a freaky time today. Um, what I did was, is my favorite thing to use is mechanical pencils, all right? And it's just this easy. I went ahead and traced around my little design here. Let me pop this out a little bit more. And if I miss any of y'all's questions, I will try to go through this video once again afterwards, okay? I just trace around it, and then you're kind of wondering, okay, well, how do I get that little bubble at the top? Well, since these are made to be mirrors of each other, I just flip this over and continue on with my pattern. And then I went ahead and cut it out for each side, okay? Now, I do know that this one has this little kind of decoration right there. I went ahead and omitted that on mine because as I said, I don't have a scan and cut, but if y'all have one of those awesome things, you can totally do that. Um, what is my computer? <laughs> I hope this is not interrupting you guys too as well. It keeps asking me these like crazy questions. I have no idea where it's coming from. So <clears throat> I went ahead and pre-papered some of these already, but I will show you how I do this. My favorite type of glue to use for almost anything and everything is art glitter glue. Okay. This is designer dries clear adhesive. Okay. Archana, do you sell this in your store? Art glitter glue? I don't know. I just want to check real quick if she does she will put that link down below for you but all i do is just go around all the edges and everything and i just line it up and i use my little bone folder and kind of mash it down or burnish it in and then you're probably wondering, okay, well, what if I went over the edges? Well, that's no big deal. Because if you have this Prima Distress tool, you can go ahead and distress those extra pieces right off. And that's basically what I did with all my other pieces, okay? Now, I did go around this with the ink. 
and that comes in the little kit. And the color you're gonna get is the Prima Deep Kiss, okay? And like I said, I already went ahead and inked around this, so I don't need to add more, but, oh, I might later, I don't know. We'll see, okay? And then I'm gonna continue on with the opposite side. Let me see. And I think these are just such gorgeous papers, guys. You cannot go wrong with this kit. If you love shabby chic, uh, you'll definitely want this kit. Oh, y'all are waiting for nicer weather? Well, it's already hot as heck here, guys. You guys can come down to Swampland. How's that? <laughs> where the pollen is already getting you and everything. Okay, but we've had a lot of rain lately, I can tell you that. Hi, Delilah. Hi, Lori. Okay, thank you, Archana. So Archana's gonna start selling this in her store and she will definitely post it when it's available. You can also use this same glue with fabric. Now, I will say that if it's an extremely humid day, it does take a couple minutes to um, work with fabric, okay? I will say that. But um, if you just hold it down, you know, it pretty much works. Okay. And then with my smaller one, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Make sure I don't have my paper upside down. Yes, this glue is really one of the best I've ever worked with. Swampland, well, girl, come on down here because I told you I need to start fishing, okay? <laughs> Although, did you see my post that I posted about the fish? Apparently, uh, if you eat fish that has locally been caught here in off of the Indian River, it's supposedly higher in mercury than other fish. How is that even possible? Uh, if you ask me, it's all the same. You know, guys, I don't mind if I glow in the dark. It's okay. If I have a little too much mercury in my body, it's all good. I like fish. I like shrimp. Hi, Debbie. Yes, it's crazy. I mean, I don't understand how our fish would have more mercury than any other river. I think it would be all the same if you ask me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this down. Hi, Debbie. We have Debbie A and Debbie R. Hi, Christy. Guys, is this paper not to die for? It's just so pretty. I'm telling you. Now, Archana, she used the, um, I think it was Finnevere or Prima Gold paint. Oh, my goodness. Or it's like a rub. Her project turned out gorgeous. And you can find that on YouTube if you want to see her finished project as well. Hi, Susan. Okay, so now I do want to mention out of my own stash, I did distress this with a very, very light beige to kind of give it that little vintagey feel. The dye that I used was from my stash as well. I just want to share this with you in case you in case you want to use this dye. I don't know. This is by Derice. I don't even know what this is called. Let me see. Um, oh, there is a name on here. Okay. Or maybe there's not. I lied. There's no name on here. How can you not have a name? Oh, nesting rectangles. Guys, yes, it is rectangles, but these are decorative rectangles. They could have came up with a better name than that. Okay. Anyway, just saying. And then let me show you um, the other dyes I used real quick. Um, just the uh, window dye and this uh, Cartabella. I love the little dress form and the purse and the beautiful. So I did use that. I think that's pretty much it that for my stash, okay? So I want to go ahead and kind of make it where, where I would put my photo. Let me see. 
This is one of your selfie photos, I guess is what they call it from the little cameras. This could totally fit on here. So that would work. I'm sorry, I just use this as an example. So this photo is two and one eighth by three and three eighths, but you could probably fit a larger one. You could cut down a four by six photo if you wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here. And I just want to make sure that the patterns that I pick, it's the same paper. I just want to make sure that it is not identical <laughs> to the exact paper that I'm using. Otherwise, it'll just blend in there. Hi, Kelly. Yes, this paper is gorge. I can't live without it. And this whole idea is just too stinking cute. So I just want to prepare these really quick and then we'll get started on putting the wardrobe together. And it is so easy, guys. I didn't even need directions, okay? And uh, that says a lot if you, <laughs> if you don't need directions to put something together, okay? I think I want to put this one. I'm actually not going to use it on this one because I don't want to cover up over my lady. All right, and then I've got this lady here too. So, okay, we'll just keep moving on here. Don't want to cover up any of my peeps. Guys, the amount of flowers and everything that you get in this kit is amazeballs. I mean, you can't get any better than this kit, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm in Bureau. Bureau Beach. And I moved from Texas where Debbie lives. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just keep putting these together. And I think too, later on, I'm going to get some white, maybe, maybe I might get some white paint and kind of do a few distress marks, but I'm not going to do that right now at this moment. Okay, oops, I knew there was, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot a side. And this is my only one that's going to have an identical side. Dang, not it. See, this is what happens when you get distracted. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put our green one here. Archana, do you ship to Canada? Oh, yes. Okay. Yay. Okay. We are moving right along, guys. Let me tell you. I'm telling you, this goes pretty fast. Oh, that is awesome. I don't know too many people that ship worldwide, so that is really, really cool. Okay. Just gonna center that again. And this time, for this one, I think I'm gonna put the window and I'm just gonna glue down at the bottom because I wanna be able to pop a photo inside there. Just gonna use my lines to help me out there. And then once I get my photo in there, I'll go ahead and put it down permanently. Okay, let's see, do we want green there? Do we want pink? Pink with a lady, that one. What, are you serious? That is so cool. I had no idea, Debbie. I am so excited I have another crafty friend over here. That is awesome. 
Oops, let me get this straight. Okay. And I'm gonna no, I think that's a little too patterny. So yeah, let's go. No, let's go with this one. It kind of blends a little too much, but I didn't want to go with the stripes again because we already have that on this one here. This kit is yummy. I know, Archana. I have to go to North Carolina. I don't know if y'all have ever been to South Carolina. I love South Carolina. I love Georgia. I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed with the East Coast. Okay, so now we have all of these done. Let me move this over here real quick. So now we're going to get out our pieces for the actual wardrobe holder, okay? And they come in little pieces. So you're going to have, well, not little, they're just normal size pieces. You have one large one and then two smaller ones. And basically this one is just to cover up the holes, okay? And I went ahead and traced this out. So I ended up having to use two pieces of paper or shall I say one, half and then half, okay? And then I'm gonna put some flowers in between here to kind of blend it in and you won't even know that it exists. But once you glue these together, it should look something like this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these layers together. I'm going to start off with these two first. Okay. Yes, we do. We need to do a crop. We might have to do it in Atlanta or somewhere. I don't know. Atlanta would be fun. I used to live there for seven years, seven and a half years in Atlanta. Loved it. And I went to the same school that Dave, David Hasselhoff, right? Kit guy, <laughs> the Knight Rider. Same school he went to. Okay, so then I'm just going to grab some binder clips to keep this together. I have a little bit more glue. Guys, it's totally humid today. I can tell you that. That is the one thing. You definitely can get swamp butt here. Hi, Robin. Oops. Okay. And while I'm letting this one glue together really quick, all right, unfortunately, my binder clips aren't big enough to put all three together at the same time. Um, we're going to start on this portion, which is the bottom. So you have your bottom base, which is actually going to fit in here, okay? And then on the opposite side, and then you have your decorative piece that I went ahead and did the same thing where I took half the pattern paper and then the other half and just glued it on here, okay? So I'm gonna use my glue real quick. Actually, let me take this off. Whoa! You guys wouldn't even believe what kind of mess I made earlier today. I had glue everywhere. And um, it's a crime. It's a crime to lose any of this glue. Seriously, a crime. Okay. So we're just gonna press this down real quick. And you can go ahead and clip it down, same thing. Where are my clips, there we go. But this glue does dry pretty quickly. So I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna come back over here because this should be dry by now. That's how fast this stuff works. Oh yes, Fabri-Tac. I use that as well, I really do. I am just out of it right now. So I don't want you to feel that you can only use art glitter glue. That is not the case when it comes to putting together. Any wood glue will work as well because this is wood after all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me pick my best side, okay. I wanna turn this around because I want to line it up, 
Okay. Want to make sure my hole is lined up. And I'm sorry, I can't really see. Yeah, that looks good. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then I want to set this aside real quick. Try not to move around too much. Okay, sorry, my mom is trying to call me now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got that together. And now this should be dry. And I know I'm bouncing back and forth, but this is just the best way to get this done quickly. And you'll have a dowel with your kit as well. So that's really awesome. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of glue in here. Don't need to go crazy, because it's just gonna squirt right out. Okay, and I'm gonna twist it on in there, okay? Okay, I'm actually, I gotta add a little bit more because I pulled it out and I don't trust it. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing right here. I'm just gonna put a little bit right here on the edge. On this edge and on the back. Don't use too much because then it might not even actually go in. Okay. And then we're gonna wipe off any excess glue. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute. And while that is drying, I can go ahead and start decorating my little pieces. Now, let me put this back on here before I forget and my glue dries out. Okay, now we can get into all of the amazing yumminess. Oh my goodness. We got lots and lots of goodies. In fact, I didn't even really need to do any die cuts, okay? Because this is so loaded. I just always have fun adding little die cuts here and there, you know? But look at all the goodness you get in here. These are all the flowers. And I'm sorry, I like to take it all out because I gotta look at it all. <laughs> so I could decide. And I love these little acrylic flowers. Let me just put these here real fast. And then of course you get Prima flowers. You also get your Sain and Pearls. And I don't even know what you wanna call this. I call these Cabbage Roses. There might be another name or something. I don't know, but I love those. Those are now my favorite rose, Archana. Just letting you know. <laughs> I just love them. They're beautiful. Okay. And let me get out my laces so I can have everything ready to go. Let me see. Why am I not opening this right? Definitely, Debbie. It is. If my daughter wasn't at school and uh, I didn't have to do this, as a, I might have to buy another one of these just for my daughter so she can do this as well. Okay, now another thing you might wanna have is some little wire, wire cutters. And I just got these from my local craft store. And I'm just gonna clip some of these off for now. A few of each. And I love that this is actually a hanging mini album, which means I can make my pieces as thick as I want to. So I'm not even worried about using these giant flowers. Not at all. In fact, I'm gonna hold off on that for just a second. Let me get these first. I always like to pre-cut because I like to play around with it. Okay, let me just ask you, Archana, what are these called? Are these carnations or I, I never say the name right. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I guessed right. I don't know. Okay, a couple more. 
Oh, not there. Oops, I'm going to cut it here. And I pre cut myself some leaves. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's get started with some of this bling here. Peonies. Oh, this one is peonies. Oh, I love these. If those are peonies, I love, oh, asters. Oh, these are asters. Okay, these are asters. <laughs> are these peonies? We'll find out in just a second. I apologize, guys. I know I seem crazy, but you know what? If I'm going to be mentioning flowers, I want to make sure I get it right. I'm going to put this one right in the center. I went ahead and already got my glue gun going. Uh, maybe I should, yeah. I'm going to put this one in the center. This one's just going to be a decorative piece. I don't need to have photos on every page. So just going to dab that on there and burn myself like I always do. Sorry. <laughs> you know that hurt, guys. <laughs> but if it isn't painful, it isn't crafting. Oh, cabbage roses. Okay, awesome. See, that's what I was thinking. I'm going to put my leaves here. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to use my glue gun for that. Make it easier on myself. You know what? I'm going to separate these. I lied. And then thank goodness for glue guns. They never dry too fast. I'm going to separate this a little bit. I'm going to center this one. And I'm thinking I might put this one up here. I'm not sure yet. I do want to play around with my bows. So, y'all know what I'm looking for. My bow maker, and it's not over here. Oh, I don't live without my bow maker. What the heck? I don't trust my bow designs. All right, we'll wait on that. <laughs> okay, I love, so this is going to be basically my front page. I think I'm going to do beautiful, but you know what? This is really hiding too much. Let's go ahead and ink this baby up. So I'm going to take a little piece of paper here. And I'm going to go ahead and darken this up a little bit so it's not all hiding. Okay. There we go. That looks good. Yes, Archana makes gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. You know what I'm thinking is that, you know all those photos that you used to get done of your kids at JC Penney's and Walmart and you get those wallet size ones. I think that's what I'm going to do for my daughter. Definitely put beautiful on there. And then let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to use some of these. I think I'm going to tuck that in there. Yeah. Okay. 
Thank you, Archana. Okay, we'll just go ahead and put this one there as well. Okay, now we can actually, I don't know, do I want to use one of my dress forms on this one? Ooh, yeah. Let's see, I kind of put that down already. Is that blendy matchy matchy too much, right? Let's try this one. I guess I'm gonna have to outline this one too. And I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter pink. Sorry guys, grabbing an ink from a stash. I just want it to stand out a little bit here. I know I used the beige, but I think the beige was a little too light. Get the bottom of that dress form there. Come on. There we go. Okay, keep that out just in case I need that again. Oops, whoa. And this time I am going to use my art glitter glue. And just tuck that, oops, down a little bit at an angle. Don't want to cover up over my B. And just hold it down. And again, the great thing about this is, is if I have it going off the sides and off the bottom or off the top, it doesn't matter because this will be, you know, hanging down. So that's going to look really nice. Let me just flip it over real quick and I'm going to have to kind of work gently this time. This time I want to go ahead and make sure I have a photo. So I think I'm going to use these silk flowers right here. Kylie, well, he's from Texas too. Well, not originally. Originally, she's from St. Augustine here in Florida. But she's been loving and adjusting well to Texas. I think I want to go ahead and use a little more flowers there. Okay, and we can use a little bit of our Crema Bling. Ooh, don't let me forget about my Prima flowers too. Oh my goodness, can't forget about those. So I like to split mine up a little bit. Let's see if I can do this right. Come on, man. Sorry, I've got like glue stuck to my fingers here. <laughs> Cut that off there. Or, you know what? I'm thinking I might cut that completely off. And just use that little piece right there. Okay. And then we'll put our big flower yep right about there. Hello Ellen!
I'm just going to place that there. Okay. Now that we've got this one little piece going, let's actually go back to finish putting our pieces together because we're almost done with this. Putting that together. Again, now that I've already got my little piece on here, I'm going to go ahead and glue here, here, and a little bit on the bottom. Okay. And then I want to add a little bit to the hole here. And the best way to do this, kind of almost at the same time, push it in there. See, this one's wanting to be a little bit resistant, but that's okay. There we go. And then now I'm just going to set it aside again. If you have any glue, clean that up. And then we're going to move it off to the side here. Hi, Cynthia. Oops, and let that dry real quick. And then we'll just keep on decorating the rest of our pieces here. I think for our next one, let me work on a little bit of a longer one here. I think I'm going to add in this gorgeous lace right here. Ooh, that is yummy. Okay, I'm going to cut approximately here. And then Okay, this is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue down here first and actually get it attached. Just kind of tap it so you don't burn yourself or use your bone holder. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my scissors and what I love about wood is that I can use this as my little guide here. I know where to clip this. Okay. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Oops. To hold that down. You got this from our China girl. I can't wait to see what you create. Did you get the kit, Lee? Or did you buy the, or are you going to use a different paper with it? She sells the kit as well as just the wardrobe by itself. So if you have a particular paper collection that you want to use, you can definitely do that. Then I can just add my photo right on top. And I think I'm gonna use some of my cabbage roses here. We'll put that one in that direction. Oh goodness. Well, she just put the kit up just a few days ago, I think. So, Lee might be, uh, uh, our channel might be able to work something out with you, Lee. <laughs> you might be able to get all the goodies. Oh, yeah, that looks really pretty. Wouldn't this be perfect to give to somebody as a wedding present or, I don't know, that's what's just what I'm thinking. Guys, I got to add a little pink in here. Sorry, it's just, it's just too too much white going on. <laughs> Let me slide that baby on in there. Just add a 
peekaboo a pink. Oh, see? All right. Beautiful. Love, love, love. Let me see. And this time, no, you can't really see it on there now that I have the lace. I think the lace just basically does everything that you need that to do. But I am going to add another little flower from my Prima pack right over here in the corner. Baby shower would be perfect, Debbie. I agree with you on that. I think Archana, Archana might have listed listed a um, a Kaisercraft baby paper recently. That's beautiful. Okay, so we have our little window. We'll just keep on decorating here. See, this is so hard for me to cover up this lady. So I think I'm just going to stick with the flowers. Oh yeah, let's get into this. Well, I actually have some cut already. Let's do a big one here. And then we'll add some smaller ones. And we're just gonna open that up a little bit. May need to trim this a little bit more. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer is from Texas too. I'm telling you, we've got a lot of Texas people. I think that's just too matchy matchy, guys. I've decided I'm not going to use that one. Let's go with maybe one of the little petals. Oh yeah, here we go. couple of little petal flowers. Hi Keith. Oops. Hi Tasha. Okay. Wonder if I should use a dress worm. See if the dress worm would go in the opposite way, that might work. I could use a little purse. Let me see here. I should put the purse. Yeah, I'm gonna put the purse right there. There we go. So I don't exactly cover up over her flowers. This is just so beautiful. I think I'm going to trim some of this lace as well. Okay. Let me just clean some of these little edges off here. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like that, but let me trim this a little bit. There we go. Definitely like that. I'm just going to do my glue real light. Okay. 
I literally have scars on my hands from the glue gun. Does anybody else have scars from the glue gun? I'm a mess. And I tried using those little tools, but they get on my nerves. So that's why I don't really use them. Okay, so we're gonna work on the opposite side. And I think I wanna add this really big flower right here. Oops, clip that in there, there we go. This is when you need glasses. So you don't miss any of these little itty bitty bits. Okay, we're gonna start off at the bottom. It's real light, nothing too crazy. Okay. And then I think, I don't know if we're gonna add this one here. Oh, I do like that, okay. You know, okay. <laughs> the little silicone fingers are not for people that have fat fingers, Monica. <laughs> I did get those, they, like it was a whole kit. And I don't know, they also make your, your finger sweat. It's gross. I don't know, I just don't like those things. <laughs> there we go. Look at how beautiful these roses are. They're just amazing balls. Okay, so now, let's, this should be dry by now. Let's see how this is coming along. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. So I'll have my beautiful at the front. Uh-oh, you know what? I just realized this looks naked with just the window. I'm sorry, guys. I can't just leave it like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, let's see here. I can't believe I just realized that. Um, Let's do a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little bit of this lace down here. Let me see if I can kind of curve this a little bit. Oops. I don't want to stretch it out. Okay, so we're just going to guesstimate. Okay. Yeah, that works. Gosh, because just the window by itself. I know I hate covering up over this beautiful paper, but I have that same little design at the top, so it's okay. All right. And then, let's see what we can do here. Nope. Let's do pink. Oh, no, more Prima flowers, guys. You can't... Oh, yes, this one's perfect. Hold on. Hold them up. Hold them up. This one will work. Definitely. Tiny flowers? I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can do this. Hopefully, I didn't glue it down too much. Right? Here. I know what I can do. I'm gonna go ahead, well, if I do that, if I trim it all off, it's gonna fall apart. Yep, it did. Darn it. You lost the sound, can anybody else hear? Can y'all hear? Give me like hearts or thumbs up or something. Oh, good, okay. I think it's just you, Jennifer. Okay, and then we will do, get some more of these little babies. Where's the little white ones? There they are. Okay. Thank you guys. I'm glad y'all can hear me. 
I don't want to put too many flowers because then I won't be able to see the photo. So I'm going to keep it minimal. So I'm glad she said the little flowers because that makes sense. We'll do, I don't even know if I should put that there. Hold on. I lied. I'm not going to use that one. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Whoa. Yikes. Okay. My little flowers falling apart. Hold on, guys. I clipped it too far. I'm telling you, right, guys? You cannot, you cannot live without this kit. I mean, the flowers alone are amazing. Okay. Okay, stay there. Okay, and then we'll do one more of these. This time I'm going to try not to ruin it. Hi, Brittany. Oh my goodness, guys. And I'm going to have to hide this under there. Huh. Nope, that's not going to work. Keep it under there. Tuck it, tuck it. Guys, I'm going to have to mess it up. Just, I don't want that hanging off. Hold on, hold on. It's not the end of the world. I know you think I ruined that flower. I did it. <laughs> I promise. I'm going to make it work. Okay. There we go. I'll have to fix that one up a little bit more later. Maybe a couple more little flowers here. Let's see if we can fit that baby in there. Yep. What kind of dog is, is it that you have? Is it a Mastiff, Monica? Because it does look like a small horse. It really does. I don't know if he's like part Great Dane. I don't know. He is huge. Oops. Okay, guys. I'm losing stuff here. Okay. I'll come back to this and fix that one up. Okay, let's keep moving along here. We are almost done, guys. And this project is just too cute not to have fun with it. It's going to guesstimate where I need to cut it. I really like this lace. That's very pretty. I'm going to keep it in a little bit of a rounded way here. Curved, maybe? That's the word I'm looking for. Curved. Guys, I just love burning myself, I'm telling you. Okay. And let's. Each one of these down. <laughs> Not a, a big suck dog. What the heck? Let me get all this trash out of the way. Okay. Hi, 
Jason is the cutest. Okay. And I'm thinking, let's go with one of these flowers in the middle. I'm gonna have to push it down a little bit there because I don't want to spill over on the other side where you can see the glue. Now that is cute. He, he leans on you every time. Aww. <laughs> It's because he loves you. Okay, so we're going to work on our other side. And I think this will be perfect. But again, I'm going to go around the edges with a little pink here to make it pop out. Oops. Bye, Robin. Thanks for joining in. Oops. Where's the hair dryer when you need it to get rid of these glue messes? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue down towards the bottom because I want to be able to tuck my photo in there. Just a little bit there just to keep it in place. Oh my goodness. There we go. Add a little bit more glue right there. Definitely, right? I should use foam dots. Okay, and then I'm really still loving this lace, so I'm going to keep on using this up because I love this floral design. Okay, I might need to cut some of that off. Okay. Now, what I want, oh, hold on, I'm doing it the wrong way. Here we go. I'll put another flower down there, but I'm just going to glue it right on down here. And a little bit over there. That way I still can tuck my photo under there. Let me see. I still love this one. That covers that up completely. Let's, should we do another big one? Yeah. Hmm. I think this one's really pretty. Maybe I'll use the blush one. The mud. Has he been digging in the mud again? <laughs> this lace is gorgeous. Let's give this a little bit of floof. Beautiful. I love that pretty pale pink. That is gorgeous. Guys, this is turning out so stinking cute. I'm going to use a little bit more of my Prima Bling here. See if I can get it all off in one piece here.
Okay. I'm going to clip off some of this and I might use it somewhere else. But I'm thinking. Yikes, stop moving here. There we go. Now, right now, I'm just going to press these on the outside really hard. And then once I get my daughter's photo in there, I'll press it, press it down right in the center. But for now, I don't want to get too crazy, okay? And I'm thinking, I still love this flower, but let me see what else we have. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm just going to, I just love this one. I think I'm going to stick with it. Thank you, Debbie. Let me turn this a little bit. Add a little bit of leaf under there. And I think it's turning out so pretty. The only thing I am going to do is move this little piece there. Let me see something. Nope, I just don't think that's going to work there. But I do know that I'm going to put all my ribbons up in here on at least one side. No, no, I don't know. Let's use some of the dangly lace again. It's beautiful. Thank you, Archana. Oops. Guys, I kind of messed that up. <laughs> Oops. I'm going to have to save that for a different piece. I lost one of my little dangles. I don't know how I did that, but there we go. And like I said, once I glue this down, I can go ahead and fix it. Let's glue it down with the hearts. Okay. And the one thing about lace is that you can spread it out. Just trim off my excess again. Okay. Actually, like I said, I'm going to use the art glitter glue right there. Okay, sorry guys, hold on one second. My glue gun, I lost the plug, just disappeared. Okay. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, guys. I don't know. I just love these cabbage roses so much. I think. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. Archana, do you have more colors of these available? <laughs> I might buy some from you. Oh, the cabbage roses? I'm just curious. Because I can't live without them. <laughs> okay. I think it's turning out really cute. I almost feel like... You finally cleaned up your mess. I didn't think your craft room was messy. Here, let's do this right here. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Archana. Oh, cool. Six colors. That is awesome. Because these are just balls. I love these. This is my first time ever using these. Okay, turning out so cute. All right, guys, got two more. This one, I'm just gonna put some beautiful flowers around here. And I really love this pale pink. And let's go with this one right here. Just a little. Look, these colors just, I mean, really blend in here perfectly. You did an awesome job putting this kit together, Archana. I love it. I wish I could put kits together, but it is kind of overwhelming for me. There's just so many products, and, you know, there are people out there like Archana that this is easy to them, and they can just... Mixy matchy all the time. <laughs> Let's do a little bit more. I wonder if this one will work over here. No, I could do it here though. I don't want to lose this. Oh, that would be cute. Okay. Let's do this real fast. There we go. Beautiful. I'm just going to try something real quick and see if any of these yeah I kind of like that oh you're still here oh you're driving to Melbourne I thought you lived in Melbourne Robin is another one of my fellow Floridians. Okay, here we go. Or Merritt Island, I'm sorry. You're from Merritt Island, right? Okay. Let's see here. And we have another gorgeous lady on here. These are so hard to cover up, I'm telling you. Let's use the last little bit of this. And let's concentrate the flowers up in this corner. Oops. Whoa, there we go. And I've got glue strings everywhere. Let's see. That one kind of covers that one up a little bit too much. But I still love it though. I can't live with it. I would live without it. Gotta have this on here. It's too pretty not to have it there.
a little bit more greenery. Are you going to Annette's house? There we go. That's beautiful. And then I think I'm going to add another one of these lace flowers. right over in there. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Let's see you got big. Sorry, I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, Nib. <laughs> but it's come here. It's making sense, guys. I trust me, trust me. All right, let's do another one of these across. Let me straighten this out. Yeah, Sharon, you're you're in uh, Palm Beach. We have lots of our Florida girls here. I tell you what, I love it here ever since. I've wanted to live here for a long, long, long time. And finally, when I got the chance to move here, I took it. And I'm never taking it back, so I'm staying here. <laughs> okay. Let's see, we will do this here. Put that one there. I think I'm going to do this one over here. We definitely need to have a crop for reals. We do. We have some local crops over here on this side, but we should do one by Del Rey for sure. Oops, sorry guys, I'm just trying to clean this little edges up. There we go. I know, when people say they don't want to move to Florida, I think they're crazy. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> okay, we're going to add in a couple more. I don't know. I'm just feeling like I like these flowers here, but I wonder. No, I think that'll have to do like that. And then I'll just put the photo right on top. Maybe I could, here we go. We'll put another dress form. Right down there. And this time I'm going to do what our Chana said. And I'm going to pop this one up with foam. Foam dots. Let me get a little kinky on here. Where's my foam dots? Use the clay flowers? Yes, I'm definitely going to use the clay flowers. I'm going to put them in the center here with my bows. Thank you, Archana. I'm trying to find my, my bow maker. This is making me crazy that I don't know where it is. Okay. Let me come back to that side. Okay. Let's see. Definitely got to get in some more of the cabbage roses here. And 
then let's see what we have here. Okay, I think this looks perfect. Let me get out my bow maker because my other one seemed to have disappeared. Anybody have the bow at all? I just love the bow at all. All right, let me turn it this way. I can't live without this. I don't trust my bows, okay? I just don't. And um, so I really love using this. And I think what I'm gonna do, let's see if this is gonna work, guys. I'm gonna move it a little closer. I have all the toys. No, I don't. I wish I did though. I only have the cricket, that's for sure. I want all of the cutters and oh, I would love to have one of those big printers. But in due time, in due time. I don't think I'm collecting any more um like big crafty items because I need to get some more organizational stuff for my craft room and then so let's put this one which ones do we want okay so this one needs to be here this might not be big enough let's find out Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to mash this down. Oh, sorry, <laughs> here you go. And then I wanna put this in the center here. That's cute. I like that. And so each one of them, I'll just do a different color. Thank you, Archana. I didn't know these were clay. I thought they were acrylic. <laughs> I'm glad you told me what they were. Uh oh, and you know what? I didn't wait. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to wait for these to dry. My glue gun's pretty hot. So I'll have to lay these flat. Oh, yeah, I love these. It does make sense. Um, I, I did used to make a lot of paper clips out of clay. So I did an apple, a pumpkin, a donut, a little uh, camera, a little Polaroid camera from clay. I probably should start making those again. They're really cute, um, extra fun things to put. And I did that wrong. Let me put this more at an angle. 
There we go. Okay. You hold that down for a second. This one will do the green. We are almost done here, guys. And before I head off, um, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for joining in with me and visiting me on a weekday during your lunch hours. Thank you so much. And definitely, guys, don't forget to check out our Chana store. She has all sorts of beautiful, gorgeous papers, all shabby licious. Well, not all of them. Uh, I know she has other kinds other than just shabby. <laughs> I don't want you to think she just only has shabby, but gorgeous, gorgeous papers. I'm not sure if it's just me or my my feed is acting crazy. Oh, you guys are on spring break. Our kids had it a couple of weeks ago. So we're doing a really good time. Okay, guys, I'm going to start decorating. I'll finish decorating all of those later, but I want to decorate the outside of this as well, especially the front. And I'm thinking, well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm kind of liking it how it is, but maybe I will definitely do, definitely the acrylic flowers will look really super cute there. Right there in the center. Hold that there, turn it around. Thank you, Lily. Here we go. This looks perfect. I don't know if y'all can see, but let's see if I can get this this way. I really like that right there. Beautiful. Guys, thank you so much for joining in with me. I've got to go run and pick up my kiddos, but I will definitely have photos of the finished project, and I'll be putting this on my YouTube as well as our Chana's. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful and fabulous day. Bye, guys. Thank you, our Chana.